All right, students, we're going to go over some special factoring patterns, and this should complete then the different types of um, polynomial strategies that you need for factoring. And so I've listed them here. You might want to jot these down in your notes. The sum of two cubes, the difference of two cubes, and factoring by grouping. If you'll write down the, the format there, I've um, given you two examples and I was going to talk through how to use each one of these special factoring patterns. The first thing that you have to be able to do is to be able to tell which factoring pattern you need to use. And so the first two are very similar, the sum and the difference. And it's going to be two terms where you've got a cubed root. Usually at least one of them will have a cubed root, such as this one that's in red, x cubed plus 8. Okay. It's going to have something that has a cube in it. That's how you know that it's not a square, a perfect square. It's a perfect cube. And then the difference between um, the plus and minus will just be um, whichever. If it's a plus, then you go with the sum. If it's a minus, you go with the difference. Hopefully that makes sense. Factoring by grouping, you choose this one when you have four terms. And I'll go over that in just a moment. Okay, let me explain each of these three examples. Here's example one, the x cubed plus 8. Okay, so that matches the pattern of u cubed plus v cubed. It's, u cubed plus v cubed is just a pattern. It's saying if you have a, a term that's cubed plus another term that's cubed, this is the way it's going to be laid out. So the very first step that you have to do is take the problem that you're given and make sure that both terms are written as perfect cubes. So we already had x cubed. That was already written that way. And then remember you can write 8 as a power of 2. 2 to the third power would be 8. So we just rewrite our problem like this where both terms are raised to the third power. Then what you want need to understand is because the x is first, wherever you see a u, you're going to write x. And for this problem, wherever you see a v, you're going to write 2. So then it just becomes a matter of substitution into the format. So notice it said u plus v, so I wrote x plus 2, x plus 2. We just replace the x for the u and the 2 for the v. That's the first binomial parentheses. Then the second is a trinomial polynomial, and it is supposed to be u squared. So since x was in the place now of u, you write x squared. Then it says minus u times v. So we're going to multiply the 2x and 2 and the x together. Just write it as minus 2x. And then it says plus v squared. So because 2 was in the place of the v, we square the 2 and it becomes 4. So our final answer for um, factoring, quantity x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, when it's a difference of two cubes, notice this problem, x cubed minus 125. Okay, that one's a difference. So now we're going to follow the other pattern. By the way, if you'll notice, the two are very similar. Very similar. And so that's why this pattern is so wonderful. Because as long as you know which one is a sum and which one's a difference, you just plug it into the pattern. So it's really the same thing. Um, x cubed minus 125, we would write it as x cubed minus 5 to the third power. Wherever there is a u, you're going to write x. Wherever there's a v, you're going to write 5. Plug it into the difference pattern, and it would be x minus 5 times the trinomial x squared plus 5x plus 25. So check that out. Make sure that makes sense as to how, um, how that whole pattern is factored. just makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, it's kind of like, how would you even know that two terms become a binomial times a trinomial? The last... The last um, method is called factoring by grouping and you can follow through here. The first step that you do is you put parentheses around the first two terms and around the last two terms. The first two terms then you factor out the greatest common factor since they both had an x squared you'll notice for x cubed and x squared the greatest common factor there is x squared. Factor it out of the parentheses and then divide both terms by x squared and you're left with x plus 2 inside of the parentheses. Second parentheses was 3x plus 6. Bring the 3 out, and you're left with x plus 2. That is a good thing when you have the same parentheses in both of them. You factor out an x plus 2, and then 
take your x squared and your plus 3 and put those in a parentheses together. And that is called factor by grouping. I've got a number of examples to do and so of our homework problems. Okay, number 15 is you look at the problem, 9x squared minus 4. Well, that's not even a cube. And so 15, you should already know how to do this. This one is where you take the square root of 9x squared and write 3x and 3x. And then 1's a plus and 1's a minus, plus 2 and minus 2. So that's all you have to do when you have a difference of two perfect squares. Okay, now x cubed minus 8, okay, that one is going to be what we, what we are, one of our new patterns. That's right here. And it's x minus 2, x squared, plus 2x, and plus 4. That one's just like the one that we did in the example, but this time it's a difference. Okay, now number 19 is interesting because remember you need two numbers or two terms that are both raised to the third power. So 216x cubed actually will be written as 6x to the third power because 6 to the third power is 216, x to the third power is x cubed. But my u is going to be this whole term of 6x and then 1 to the third power. So this time it is 6x plus 1, that's u plus v, and then um, u squared is going to be 6x, but notice the whole term of 6x is u, so you're going to go 36x squared, okay, then minus, because it's mi this middle term is minus in this pattern, minus u times v, so 6x times 1 would just be minus 6x, and then plus v squared, which would just be 1. And so there you have it.